What's up, boys? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to make coins during Team of the Season. Team of the Season one is the one of the best promos in FIFA, and it is one of the most anticipated. Leading up to it, people have packs save, they have coins save, but it is also a time of the year when the market does crash and coins become increasingly more valuable as you can buy more for a high for a high amount of coins. So if you have a mill at the beginning of the year versus a mill during Team of the Season, you can buy so many great value cards with the mill versus the end of the year versus the middle of the year versus the beginning of the year and today we're going to talk about ways to make coins way to prevent losing coins and first off we're going to get into the way how to make coins so we are going to take a look at some of the promo cards and their their price trends throughout the year and sort of apply that to team of season because a, a lot of cards have been doing this throughout the year and it is a pretty stable pattern so to look at foot birthday cards and the type of cards you're going to want to want to buy with this this strategy is you're going to want to buy obviously you buy low sell high and you're going to want to buy the cards that are in the middle of the rating throughout the entire promo so say there's a 99 rated card in the prem team of season and then the lowest rated card is a 90 you're going to want to buy the cards that are not super meta but are around say 90 91 92 around there so with these foot birthday cards obviously you're not going to want to buy any of the 86s and you're going to want to do this around pretty early on in the promo in the promo week these promos drop on friday i would recommend buying cards that are somewhere in the middle of the line with price and sort of their performance level on saturday or sunday because that's when they're going to be the cheapest and then selling on middle of the next week uh tuesday thursday or waiting until the week ends when the packs switch over to the next team of the season and the cards go out of packs the prices tend to go up so a good card that i i like to buy during uh foot birthday was this indeedy card i also bought jack grealish silas these cards that are sort of middle of the line cards not the 86s or the 87s but the cards that are somewhat of decently this laner here uh cards like that and then take a look at other other promos these cards skyrocket in price once they do go out of packs one card that i saw it happened a lot with this year was raheem sterling he had a lot of informs that that definitely had crazy price price differences as he was always getting he got a player of the month he got a bunch of other different cards so i remember this his 90 rated left wing team of the week card when it came out in packs originally it was around like whatever a fodder price was for a 90 rated inform which was around 50k around 50 ish k now he's 100k on the market he, he he has risen so much and it's just crazy to see because you can buy these cards, not even snipe them. You can just go on and buy pages and pages of these cards around Saturday or Sunday, probably later Sunday. And if you're in NA or if you're in in the in Europe, buying them late night, late night in America and North America, and buying late night in England, Spain, wherever you're playing. But it's harder to do it in in Europe as that you have to stay up later. But if you are in North America, say. 9 a.m. 9 p.m. 10 p.m. and 11 great times to buy less people on the game the saturday nights the sunday nights stay up late buy some players and then you hold them you hold them throughout the week and then you sell them sometime in the later portion of the week when the when the card is either there's less packs op less packs being open especially less tradable packs and also when the card goes out of packs but ways to prevent losing coins uh going back to a way that i i think it's just it's very important it, important to not lose coins in team this season because you can do so much with coins there's so many SBCs, so many players but if you know there's a card that's gonna get a team this season someone that you think has been perf performing really well or is just really likely to get a team this season and has some promo cards say there's just a lot of prem players that have promo cards right now um that is stinky gold cards we'll set the price range real quick to look at the prem uh special cards just to show you that if a card gets a team a season and he has a special card, his special card will now drop in price. I, I, it's pretty fair to say that his card will drop in price. The only exception I think is with some sort of team, not team of seasons, but some sort of foot birthday that has a five star, five star. So the team, team of the team of season Ronaldo versus team of the year Ronaldo versus foot birthday Ronaldo isn't going to be that big of a difference. The, the the differences come with players like say like Declan Rice. If Declan Rice gets a team of season card, this card's value is going to tank. Not saying a lot of you have cards like this, but you can just apply the principle to other cards. He is only 40k, but if Declan Rice gets a team of season, an objective card team of season, SBC team of season, or if you think they are, I would get a bit liquid, which means sell your players, get get as many coins as you can, try and make your teams untradeable and then try out players throughout throughout the team of season window and if you are going to 
want to try out players, I'd recommend doing the same thing as if you're going to try and make coins, but just doing it with trying out the player. Buy them Saturday night, Sunday night try them throughout the week and then sell them when the week's over. You're not going to lose coins. If anything, you're going to make coins and it's going to be really, really beneficial for you. But yeah, same thing. Just buy players low. Obviously you have to look at Footbin. Footbin's really helpful. You can look at their daily price totals. And if you go on a lot of these past cards, like Tamiyasu, the, these, this inform Harry Kane, Tunis, they, they drop a lot at night and they drop a lot in the later ends of the week. This Grealish card I remember was super expensive. He was around 200K and then he rose even more as the week went on. It was sort of like, but don't buy Friday. Friday's the day you don't wanna buy because there is just not enough supply. Saturday and Sunday is when the supply starts to come in because more and more people are opening packs. The, the, the cards are sort of hitting the market. They're finding their, their comfortable balance with regards to price. And then as the night kicks off, this Rodrigo card I remember dropped a lot at night. They would drop like, Five or six K at night, and that five or six K is the difference between making a profit and not because with the cards that are around 100K, less than 100K, which I think there will be some for pretty much every single team in the season. Team, as we've seen mostly, there's really obviously like the big boys in Ligoon, Prem, but then there will be these middle of the road guys, and especially in La Liga, Syria, the Bundesliga, there's really good value cards that are that are outperforming their price. And that's what you have to look for, cards that outperform their price. That is the secret to picking cards that have a somewhat low rating, but their stats don't reflect. You look at the card and you say, that is a great deal for the card because that deal is not going to stay around forever. The price will rise and the card, you will be able to make a lot of coins if you buy in bulk. And I think that you don't really need that many coins for this. I think you guys would need like 300, 400K. If that, you can do it on a bit of a smaller scale with informs. But I recommend that team of season cards are in high demand. Their prices are more likely to fluctuate throughout the week. But that's really going to do it for the video, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Good luck for Team of Season. There's been Icon Swaps 3 is out, so that's a big deal. And Team of Season, best part of the year. My favorite time of FIFA probably throughout the year besides Team of the Year. But that's going to do it. I'll see you guys next time.